Request sent. Right, hi commanders, uh, my name is Commander Porsanius and what I'm hoping to do tonight is to show you how to use the keyboard in the Galaxy map. And first thing to do is to show you why this video needs, uh, needs putting up. Um, if I go into the Galaxy map, click on to the uh, necessary uh, button, you can see my cursors flashing in there. If I look down at my uh, dash, you can see that I've got um, the Elite Dangerous client open there, but my mouse pointer is bound by that box. I can't move out of it to get at my keyboard, which is there. So we need a way around that um, to be able to type stuff into that box up there. So the, the first way I'm gonna show you is um, a bit of a Heath Robinson way but it does work and that is, is I've actually got my keyboard in front of me at the moment and I've got a piece of blue tack stuck to my delete key and also which is that's currently underneath my index finger on my right right hand and then on my keyboard I've got a piece of blue tack on my G key um, so let me just get this right the cursor's flashing back onto my delete key right my fingers on the g key so i can i can find the g key on the keyboard i've also got another piece on the i key and another piece on the v key so with four pieces of blue tack i can find me find my way around the keyboard um, so let's say we want to go to, let's see, um, that Marie that's up there. All right, so we want an M. That was a D, so that's wrong. So I press the delete key because it's directly underneath my right hand. Got the, uh, the A and the R, and then my I is, is also marked out. Now, if you need a bit of help with where the keys are on the keyboard, just look at that on-screen keyboard down there um, to be able to see you've got your I key, um, your G key and the V key um, all marked out so you'll be able to find all the other keys from there so it's up to you which keys you mark out um, but those are the ones that I find I use most within the game so those are the ones I've got marked up so I've gone to I've got Marie typed in I'm just pressing the enter key on the on the numerical keypad because that's right at the edge of the keyboard and easy to find. And I can now plot a route to there. So that's how I, um, one way in which I get around um, using the keyboard within um, the, uh, the VR headset. Uh, just to show you another thing about uh, moving around within um, the environment in here obviously you're looking at a 3d uh, image and I've got control of my mouse at the moment so say I want to go to that Yinsi that's up there what I can also do is I can hold both both the mouse buttons down and you get the movement cursor comes up now, I don't believe that there's any specific keys set up to this within the controls it's just something that's always worked on here since uh, I uh, started um, playing the game so both keys down I can move to put that circle around that circle that is on that post and um, that leads up to Yinsky and then I have got a button bound to the up and down access um, within the game within the galaxy map to be able to do that and having that circle around the bottom of it and moving up and down uh, brings up Yinsi up there and I can plot a route there now. Uh, say for instance I want to go um, let me see to that place up there that's called CD4311917 um, again both mouse uh, buttons down drag over to there to the, see the blue uh, circle at the bottom just a quick up and down movement and I can plot a route there just as easily. Um, I say for instance I want to go somewhere 
at what I'm doing here. Sorry, I should have explained that. Is I'm using my mouse roller to zoom in and to zoom back. Um, and again, that seems to be something that's automatically set up um, within uh, the controls of using the Galaxy Map. I've never programmed or known, knowingly programmed it to do that. So if I zoom out and double click uh, both mouse buttons, I can move quite large distances around the Galaxy Map um, in what's it? in one go if I, if I zoom in those movements become a little less like I said I'm trying to get to Panarua which is up there and there's no blue 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 button for that and the reason is, is I'm not close enough to it so I'm going to go up in the galaxy map until I do get a bar with the blue dot at the bottom I move the double double uh, buttons to there move up and down click it and i can now go to panorua um the other buttons i've got uh, programmed and again this is one that i don't believe i've put in i'm just holding down my left mouse button now and i can alter the orientation of the um the galaxy map i move my mouse backwards and forwards left and right just gives you different perspective but looking down at about a 45 30 30 to 45 degree angle usually gives you all the perspective you need to be able to move this this around um, in that fashion as well so that's how i move around within the, uh, the galaxy map and find the different places that i need to go on there so that's just another tip i'll just quickly show you um my control settings for that as you can see on the mouse controls i've got nothing set so those a lot of those movements so some must be some sort of uh, default if i go down to galaxy map i'll just open all these up so you can see um what my settings are that's a joystick access um which alters that that pitch angle but I've been doing that with my mouse as a default um, but I have got a key bound to it on my throttle same for the uh, the your access that one's just uh, uh, that's, that's not set to anything look now here is the translate forward and backwards I have got uh, a joystick control to be able to move around in exactly the way I've just shown you, but I just hold both the left and right hand buttons down and it, it, it works. That one's got nothing set to it. The translate left and right is like the back and forward. Again, I've just got a joystick control, but moving my mouse around seems to work. This is the only one that really uh, seems to be important to set, and that is to be able to move up and down uh, within, the, within the Galaxy map. And I have got buttons set for those. All of, if I expand all of these, they're all got dead zone appears and they're all set down to the to the minimum. Um, that one just says hold on it. OK, so that is all of my controls sorted out. Now, let's take this a step further if you've got voice attack. Now, what I have done and I'll try and show you this is say we want to go to um let me go on to eddb all right we'll just quickly put uh, a multi-hop group in i'm currently in something called now you can use the, the keyboard normally here because i'm not in the um i'm not in the bounds of the uh of elite box here so i've put that in i'm currently sitting at riley station and i want to go to boran for want of anywhere else there's boran find a trade route and right so if i want to go to uh this place i can click on that and it will copy that system name to the clipboard 
so we'll do that to start with and I'll show you how that works so I clicked on that and that's now copied onto the clipboard come back over to and focus on the elite um, window that is there galaxy map click across to there I click my fire button so the cursor is uh, flashing and what I've done is I've set up a voice attack for the following paste in affirmative and, it, and it's what that's done is it's pressed the control v buttons for me on the keyboard so i'll just program that to go there so let me just show you that is this is my voice attack and this is the command look press ctr uh, left ctrl plus v keys and hold for 0.2 seconds and release and then it just plays a sound to acknowledge that now that is a really easy way of getting information from your browser uh, into um, in, in, into the galaxy map and i'll just show you again with another one only this time i'll click on the word there that's a cop or something but double click that with my mouse to highlight it right click and copy it into the elite window galaxy map into the window get the cursor going paste in affirmative and, and now i've got that one pasted in so i can go there so that's that's two ways of getting that uh, information into the uh, into the galaxy map and now that let's I've taken this a stage further. So basically you need to set that paste in uh, command into voice attack to be able to do what I've just shown you um, to sort that out. Right, I'm on my keyboard for the sake of argument and I'm just pressing the delete key on that to get rid of it. Now then let's go to, let's see, Panarua that's there. Again, I'm in the window, cursor's flashing, and I've set up following um, phonetic alphabet for um, each of the letters in voice attack. So, Papa. Now, these haven't been working very well because they're single word commands in a lot of cases, and voice attack works better when it can hear a, a string of uh, commands. Papa. Papa. It's going to keep proving me wrong. I'll try another one because it's obviously not. We'll go. We'll go there to uh, that one. Delta. Oscar. Uniform. November. Tango. Indigo. India. Delta, India, and then click on, and we'll go there and set that up. Um, the P does I'm work. I'm fine, dude. The, the, the P does work. Um, but I saw one or two planets in my time. Shut up, Desolate, Tom. hot, dusty places, or frozen. You should finish. visit one of them forever. So say we want to go to Santi, we'll click on sound tick that's because that's highlighted in black it's going to disappear when i type the first letter so sierra oscar uniform november tango india and off we go so that's a really powerful way of uh, of using utilizing that i'll just do one that's got uh, some numbers in it so that we could i'll show you that we'll go to that one down there lima hotel sierra space two one five five zero and that's that LHS 2150 that you can see down there. I've also got um, 
the following um, programmed in. Obviously, you heard me say space there. That's an important one. Delete. Zero. So I've also got the delete key um, set up as well within that. So I hope that's given you some ideas on how you can uh, get yourself around within the keyboard and get around this business of being locked within the bounds of the Elite Dangerous uh, client um, when, uh, when using uh, the Galaxy map. You might not need to do this, but just one extra thing I'll add in at the end is I've got another voice command that uh, presses certain buttons that um, brings up the task manager. Focus quitter, please. Initiating. Now, what this does, it allows your mouse to come out of the box because the task manager has now become the, uh, the, the prominent uh, window. So if you're stuck in the uh, in the galaxy map here and you don't particularly want to close it down and go back to the main game, you can come out of there. Um, we could go into Inara and let's see if I can quickly find somewhere else to go. Um, let's see, galaxy. Outfit here, I don't know. I need something somewhere where we can go quickly. Let's get to Old War. Uh, we can get to HR 111. Uh, this, here we are. And now, here again, Renora, you've still got the uh, copy to clipboard. But if I just highlighted that and right click to copy it back into the Galaxy map into this area uh, I'll just delete that okay paste in and now, affirmative now we can get to HR uh, 1183 paste in affirmative and away we go that's a long way off obviously a plot a route to there so i hope that's been uh, useful to you uh, my name has been commander Pisanius. if you like what you've seen like the video and um, consider subscribing to the channel as well i'll see you out there in the black commanders and black box norman <laughs>